so students when impurities are added to the crystal lattice structure some additional energy levels are created inside the semiconductor band structure and in this video i will show you the energy band diagrams for an extrinsic semiconductor that is for both the p type and for an n type semiconductor so let's start the energy band diagram for an n type semiconductor at first now as we have introduced a group 5 atom inside the silicon structure as an example we have already talked about that how a phosphorus atom can be introduced into the semiconductor structure and which actually creates an additional electron inside the silicon structure and this is the donor type of dopant and that's the reason that an additional energy state is created adjacent to the conduction band and this is the donor energy state or donor energy level now at zero kelvin this donor energy level will be filled with electrons now these are the electrons at t equals to zero kelvin temperature and as you can see from this figure that if we apply a minimum amount of energy this much of energy to this donor electrons or to this donor energy state electrons then they will move to the conduction band and typically around 50 kelvin of energy is enough to transfer these electrons which are actually inside the donor level to the conduction band level and now for the p type semiconductor what we have done we have introduced a group 3 atom inside the silicon crystal let us talk about that we have introduced a boron atom or an aluminium atom inside the silicon structure and it will result an impurity level which is actually the acceptor level and it lies near the valence band region so at t equals to zero kelvin this acceptor level will be completely empty of electrons now for t equals to 50 kelvin energy electrons from the field valence band will move towards the acceptor level and they leave behind the number of holes inside the valence band so an acceptor level at t equals to zero kelvin will be completely empty with electrons but at t nearly equals to 50 kelvin the valence band electrons can transfer towards the acceptor level and they will leave behind holes inside the valence band so this is a p type semiconductor this is an n type semiconductor for an n type semiconductor the donor level lies adjacent to the conduction band and for a p type semiconductor the acceptor level lies near to the valence band inside the energy band gap now to analyze the electrical conductivity of either a p-type or an n-type semiconductor we must calculate the number of electrons or the number of holes in the conduction band and for this reason we have to introduce a distribution function that is the fermi dirac distribution function why fermi dirac distribution function is important here as because electrons obey the fermi dirac statistics so let's move on to know what is fermi dirac distribution function and how it can be applied to the semiconductor material itself 